And I was sitting after dinner today and something came across me. As the old folks said, something rose up in my spirit. And I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to minister to you today. In Mark the 14th chapter, Jesus knew he was going to die. He knew how he was going to die. Verse 34, we start there and back up. He told them in a New Living Translation, he says, My soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. The Message Bible puts that same verse and says that Jesus told his disciples, I feel bad enough right now to die. The King James Version puts it very, very eloquently. The King James Version says, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Now this is how Jesus felt. He, he felt like he could just die. He, he felt like he could just crawl in a hole and die. He was crushed. With that in mind, back up to verse 26, Mark 14, 26. Then they sang a hymn and went into the Mount of Olives. That's when he began to get sad. The next verse says, I want to go, I'm going to turn my attention to verse 27, New International Version. He says, you will all fall away. So he knew that they were going to desert him. He says, you will all fall away. The message Bible says, Jesus told them, you're all going to feel that your world <laughs> is falling apart. The Message Bible says, you're all going to feel like your world is falling apart. He goes right into the next verse and says, for the scriptures say, and the King James Version says, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Now I'm reading from the 28th verse of New International Version. In the 28th verse it says, but after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. <sighs> Jesus knew he was going to die. He knew his disciples were going to be scared and feel like their world was caving in. And they were going to run from him. They were just going to run. He knew that. He, he knew what, the, what death waited on him. And he felt crushed. But he said in verse 28, but after I have risen, you see, he never lost faith. He never lost faith he, despite what he felt and despite what he knew he was going to see. He never lost faith. And you know why I know that? Because the New International Version says that in verse 20, he says, but after I have risen, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. But after... I have risen. He knew. He trusted God. He had faith in God's ability to raise him up. You might be going through something right now and you just feel like you want to die. The people around you desert you. I feel like their world is caving in. It's chaotic. And maybe deep inside of yourself you're feeling like I just want to die. But remember, the verse 28 of your life is that, but after I have risen, you see Jesus is risen. And because he rose, because he had faith that he would rise, you don't have to succumb to those feelings. Listen, my friend, no matter what you're going to, no matter how chaotic your world is around you, have faith in God's ability to raise you up out of that circumstance. Have faith. But after I have risen, yeah, you may feel down now. Yeah, you might feel like you're not going to make it. But speak to your circumstance and say, but after I have risen. <laughs> That's what it's about, my friend. You're hurting. You're sad. But after God has raised you up you go forward. It's been a pleasure sharing this brief nugget with you. I love you. And remember, you might feel bad. You might want to die. 
You might feel like everything around you is chaotic and falling apart. But remember the word of God. He will raise you up. Say to yourself, but after I have risen. Thank you very much. You'll be blessed. I'm Tony Stallings. Take care.